ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Rocket League Replay Workshop. This is a 3v3 replay of average skill level of Rising Shooting Star that I'll be covering, kind of analyzing all the plays, both the good and bad, uh, making suggestions of uh, what can possibly be done to make things better, what can be improved, and highlighting some, uh, some pretty golden moments in this. I tried... Uh, Recording replay analysis of this one a little while ago, but uh, the recording just completely went missing. So I'm doing this over again. I have a rough idea of what happens throughout this one, and uh, I aptly renamed this replay Teamwork. So I think you guys might see some teamwork involved. We'll see. We'll find out together. So without further ado, let's just get this going. Orange team is the team I was on alongside Speed Phantom and Furrock. And uh, blue team, Tac G, Galumesh, Atticad. Uh, yep, just a couple dudes I believe we just found in a ranked match. Furrock with a decent kickoff there. Uh, trying to follow up with an extra touch, but then I get a pinch off of Gilgamesh that ends up going way too far for Speed Phantom to reach. Um, not a huge deal. Atticad ready on the defense, but Speed Speed Phantom really, really quickly was able to read the play and block the shot. That play was because of Speed Phantom right there. Tech G, huge defensive misplay. Gilgamesh couldn't get the extra touch to save save the goal. Didn't quite work out, and I just capitalized. Good play by Speed Phantom there. Really, really good play. And that was really tight too. Like not no. No sense of delay, good tempo all the way through. Frog with a decent touch to Speed Phantom there. I try to go for an angle, but end up going into the corner anyway. Again, just pressuring the ball, just constantly touching it so blue team can't figure out what, what the next step should be. Ooh, hold up. Light misplay by Speed Phantom, didn't quite read Gilgamesh's motives there. Um, Murak, though, all the way at the back end here, um, was on defense, so not a huge deal. Okay. So Gilgamesh went for a flick. Just up in the air for for the shooter in front. Oh, that was... Hmm. Okay, so that's not a real person. That was Myrtle. That was Myrtle. Myrtle was about to get a shot. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. DC happened, and that was just unfortunate. I was able to get the clear off of it. Ooh. Tag G had a great touch. I tried to go for a 50-50. Supporting uh, Furrock's play here. Didn't quite make it. I was really late to it. I think, I think Furrock would have been late to that ball anyway, too. Looking at how... How close Tac G was to this ball versus us two here. Yeah, so. Brock was still in the middle of recovery, just trying to get off of the wall and drive down the gutter. And Tac G was already up for the jump while I was I was just um recovering from my flip. That thing goes into our net. Speed Phantom, unfortunately, wasn't able to get the stop on it. He kind of flew forward a little bit too much. But let, let's just see from his view here. Yeah, so... Definitely could have jumped earlier, but he didn't anticipate it. And he was already accelerating forward too, thinking that... Uh, we're able to push the far... Uh, push the far corner of the blue end. But, uh, nope. Didn't quite happen the way we wanted it to, so... It's unfortunate team play. Good job by blue team. Just uh, capitalizing on our slight mistakes here and there. Actually with a decent kickoff right there. Oh man. Okay, so... Oh, sweet camera angle. Okay. So he saw Speed Phantom there. 
But for whatever reason, Ferrok thought it was a good idea to go for this one. Even though Speed Phantom already had it. There may have been a chance that Speed Phantom may have not, you know, not had any boost. Maybe he wasted it all in the first few seconds of the kickoff, but I highly doubt it. Speed Phantom already had this one. I don't know why Ferrok jumped for this. He shouldn't have. And then he kind of interferes with Speed Phantom a little bit there. Those were a decent backflip, but kicks it away from himself, and blue team ends up getting possession. Good passing play. Gilgamesh could have gotten the shot easily, but ends up, you know, beaning it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, that's hard to watch. Yeah, Gilgamesh should have capitalized and, and go for a really good, strong aerial shot, but he didn't do it. Go back to uh, the fly cam here. Speed Phantom with a slight touch there. Oh, really good play. Supporting his own play there and getting the second tap. Wow, and the third tap going for the pass. But uh, Ferrok was not in position to get that one. Okay, so this is a point I wanted to mention here. Speed Phantom was already going for the play. Over the rotation to see how everyone ended up being in the position they were in. Ferrok was getting mid-boost. I guess he was out of boost. But he was already out of position to go for this shot. Um, was he empty in the tank? Sure, you know. Uh, that would have been a reason why he would have went for mid-boost. But um, ultimately, if he already did have a little bit of boost, maybe around at least 30 for a decent aerial shot, um, he should have been in the center position here to support Speed Phantom's pass, uh, passing play. Uh, that didn't quite work out. And just to note, like... Um, if Frog already did have a full tank, but went to steal this boost anyway from, uh, I guess, Weebaloo in front of me here. Um, I was already the third man on defense. Frog didn't have to be the third man on defense. I was already filling that role. And look how perfectly in line we are. The Speed Phantom in the far end, and then Frog, and then myself. Like... You want a really good triangular position, you know, all the way through. You don't want a perfect line like this. You need to form a triangle. Rock in the center, Speed Phantom up on the wall for the pass. Myself in the back, playing defense. Fortunately, Frog tried to go for the 50-50. Beans it, but gets the touch and deeks me out. That's, uh, that's another misplay here. He didn't have to touch it. He really didn't. I was already going for that one. Just a, just some miscommunication, thinking I probably wouldn't have been there to go for it. Speed fans were the really good 50-50. Blocks attack G's effort to push the ball further ahead. Frog with a decent clear. Goes for a secondary touch. Doesn't end up going across the net, but a Speed Phantom tries to angle it. Bit of a gutsy move, but, you know, it, it could have worked. But Tac G was already on defense here. See where Tac G is. And then you see where Speed Phantom was about to shoot. Like, he could have angled it straight into Tac G, and Tac G would have gotten a sweet clear. Brock, luckily, was already going for defense. So if... If, you know, in consequence, you know, Speed Phantom hits it into Tag G and Tag G gets the clear, Frog would have gotten the defensive block on it and chipped it back into the blue end, so. Another bad 50-50 by me. Frog tries to go for a secondary touch, doesn't work out. That's alright. Wow. Okay, alright, let's highlight that one. Speed Phantom with a great chip. Chip forward. Not this one here. Hold on. This is a little bit late. Yep. So he chips it forward up high in the air. I was able to read it and dunk it over attack G. Attack G was charged the um, the role of going on defense, but then I end up going over him. Yeah. Right here. I ended up going right over him. Attack G was able 
he, he was reading the play that Speed Phantom initially did, but he didn't see that I was going for it, so... Just unfortunate. On the, on the blue side. But good play by our orange team here. I think there could have been someone else on the blue team, actually, that, that could have assisted, but... Holy, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, so, hmm, okay. Okay, alright, Speed Phantom goes for the chip up. And then you look over here. Okay, Weebulu bumped into Gilgamesh, and Gilgamesh was trying to rotate into defense. Watch right here. Okay. So, there are already overlapping roles here. Weebaloo should have been on defense, and Gilgamesh read it, thinking that Weebaloo would all go all the way back into the net, and Gilgamesh would cheat up, um, waiting for a redirect that you know could hit hit his car and go into our net. But then Weebaloo ends up turning around and overlaps over Gilgamesh, which is which is a terrible play. So, yeah, attack G. Yeah, I didn't recognize that my car was um, already up in the air going for the goal. Uh, and uh, Weebulu just kind of ruined it for, for Gilgamesh there. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate play. Trust your teammates. Don't don't treat this like a 1v1 because it isn't. You have, you have other people that are trying to contribute too. You want to trust them. on here okay so hmm so I didn't quite see that Farrakh was going for it so I think that's just miscommunication like he was in my blind side it was only the last second that I saw him but by then it was already too late unfortunately could Farrakh have the touch because it still landed on my car could have ended up being a decent pinch too, but it looked like Frog was just a tiny bit above the ball, so it ends up bouncing off my head. Not a huge deal. Weebulu should have, you know, go for the shot. He, he should have landed it, but he whiffed on it. Okay, attack G with a with a little bit of a pressure play. Good job by Speed Phantom defending. He's been doing pretty well this game actually. Getting a lot of good 50-50s, good defensive rotation. Reading where everyone is. Like, I think he's in the zone for this one. Good kickoff. Brock with the cheat. Pretty good. Could have went in the net, but, you know, not a huge deal. <laughs> and then, and then Frock and I try to go for the same shot. That was... Hmm... Hard to call. We both definitely didn't have to go for it, so again, that's just miscommunication there. I think either one of us could have gotten it, but we, we just were not close enough to beat Weebulu to it, so. But again, Speed Phantom with, with the great pass. Good touches all the way around through this uh, replay here. Good pinch play by me. Again, just pressuring uh, blue team to cover their asses. Slight, slight whiff here, but I think it's because Gilgamesh was able to uh, take the shot away from Tac G. Put it off to the side. Farrakh couldn't read that one. A little game of hopscotch. Gilgamesh with another slight touch, just throwing us off a little bit. Another touch by Gilgamesh? Series of little tiny touches by Gilgamesh that are throwing us off here. Oh boy. Okay, so a bit of a defensive lapse here. So I was already on defense here. I was already on the far post. Frog just tries to cut in with good intention, you know? Just trying to cut in and uh, go for the ball and pinch it off the wall just to relieve some of the pressure. But that's a... That's an emergency play if no one else is back, but I was already back. Not sure if that was com communicated or not. 
Okay, all right. Shallow camera angle. Yep, just didn't read it right. He tried to go for the pinch and he didn't read it. I want to blame the camera settings though. That's a that's really hard to follow. I was already there trying to go for it. But he ended up touching it. It's a bad mistake. Didn't have to do it. I was already there. Weird kickoff, but ended up working out a little bit. Beat Phantom with a terrific clear. Could have bounced off the corner, go across their net, but not a huge deal. Pressuring blue a little bit. Blue team pressuring us. Getting little tiny touches. A little game of ping pong. Oh. Okay, Farrakh with a beautiful touch there. Just trying to get it away from uh, Gilgamesh and Tac G. Did you fans go for a demo? Oh my god, yeah. I've never seen him demo. Actually, I don't think he ever demos. Ah, oh, that would have been a great clear. Just mistimed his, uh... His push. Yeah, it, that would have been a terrific clear, but it didn't work out. Good job by Farrar pressuring the ball. Beat Phantom with a terrific 50-50. Ends up being a terrific pass towards me. But uh, I end up beaning the opportunity. That was that should have been a great goal. That should have been a good goal. Yeah, just just didn't read it right. Barack pressuring the ball again, forcing blue team to go on defense, and they all end up misplaying it except for Gilgamesh. Again with the small touches. They're doing a pretty decent... Um, the blue team is doing a decent job of covering each other a little bit. But... Uh, I think we got more of the momentum here. And we did ultimately end up winning this one. Good touch by Speed Phantom. Yeah, let's just... Like, Speed Phantom isn't going for, like, the craziest, you know, plays, freestyles, and angles, and, you know, rebounds and shit. But, like, it's about the small things that really matter. Um, and I don't think those things get highlighted enough times. So just a, just a really good shout-out to Speed Phantom on actually being the anchor in this whole operation. Because he's been in front of the ball more times than uh, myself or Farrakh, I believe, and... It's all due to his positioning, his rotation, um, his car mechanics. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed, actually. Ah, oh, damn. This play right here. Yeah, good good touch by Speed Phantom, but then Farrakh was also going for the same thing. Why? Hmm. Speed Phantom's in net. Farrakh cuts in front. Goes for the same thing. Yeah, he did. Hmm. Did he see Speed Phantom in the net? Okay, so he didn't toggle ball cam just to see if anyone was in net. So he should have done that first before doing this. And he could have helped me out, but in the end, like, I guess that was ultimately me that should have saved it. Yeah, just roofed it right above me. I probably should have jumped earlier, for sure, to make the block. Yeah, yeah, I definitely should have jumped for that one. That was ultimately my fault, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's ultimately my my fault for sure. That could have been an easy block. I just uh, didn't didn't read that one right. Good kick off by Speed Phantom. Misplay by Weebaloo. Frog with a good touch. Oh, ends up being a goal. What the hell happened? Blue team, what's up? Oh, no. Same nightmare again. Attack G. Oh, boy. Okay, so, watch this. Watch Gilgamesh. Green car. Don't do this, okay? Don't. Please don't. 
If it's a 1v1 and it's a critical save you need to make, fine. Right? But it's like super risky. You you want to make all of your plays as low risk as possible. Tacti was already ready on defense uh, to chip this ball forward uh, forward towards the orange end, but because Gilgamesh went for it, Tac G, out of respect, slowed down, uh, waited for Gilgamesh to get the touch, and Gilgamesh beamed on it, and in consequence, Tac G is just here for no reason. He's stuck. Couldn't chip it. Brock just ends up roofing it over Tac G. That's the end of the game. That mm, is bad play by Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh did, played very well up until that point. Don't cheat defense. Please don't. Just rotate properly. Everything will fall into place. I guarantee it. Don't cheat defense. Don't ever do it. Don't do it. It's not fun. Um, because you have other people counting on you to get the touch in and rotate. You know? Just make it a toggle in your head. I'm attacking. Done. I'm on defense. Done. I'm passing. Done. I'm attacking again. Done. I'm on support. Done. I'm on defense. Done. Just... Count on making one or two decent touches on the ball and just leave it alone. Rotate. It's a 3v3 game. There's enough cars to cover all the ground. It's not a 1v1 game. Don't treat it like a 1v1 game. That's the bottom line. So, that's the end of the replay analysis. Uh, again, uh, don't want to make this too long. I'm just going to cut it right here. Um, if you guys like this replay analysis, this style of, uh, of just going over... Uh, some of these things here Please feel free to subscribe. I'm gonna set up a Twitter account and uh, you guys can uh, definitely follow that one if you guys want to stay in touch um, Check out when the videos go up uh, As well as you know if you guys feel like and throwing some tweets my way if you'd like the social media things um, You kids do <laughs> Throw it towards my end if you guys have any questions and um yeah, I'll see you folks next time. Bye.